Hello again. Welcome back to week 34 of year four of the Religious Education Initiative. This is day two. We are continuing our way through the so-called Gospel of, Nico, uh, of Nicodemus, of Nicodemus, the descent of Christ into Hades. Um, last time we saw Seth, the son of Adam, speak of the prophecy he had received from the archangel Michael about the one who would be baptized in the Jordan, being the one to bring the oil of mercy from the tree of life to restore Adam and all his race. We also saw Satan and Hades speaking to one another about the imminent coming of Jesus into Hades, with Satan gleefully rejoicing in the defeat of his enemy, while Hades was speaking in incredulous fear of the arrival of this one who had called so many of the dead out of Hades by his own authority. He had begged Satan not to bring Jesus into Hades, telling him that if Jesus came to Hades, then he would not only be free among the dead himself, but would lead all those bound there into freedom. We will continue from that point. And as Prince Satan and Hades were thus speaking to each other in turn, suddenly there was a voice as of thunders and a shouting of spirits, Lift up your gates, ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye everlasting gates, and the king of glory shall come in. Hades, hearing this, said to Prince Satan, Retire from me and go outside of my realms. If thou art a powerful warrior, fight against the king of glory. But what hast thou to do with him? And Hades thrust Satan outside of his realms. And Hades said to his impious officers, Shut the cruel gates of brass, and put up the bars of iron, and resist bravely, that we, holding captivity, may not take him captive. And all the multitude of the saints, hearing this, said to Hades with the voice of reproach, Open thy gates, that the king of glory may come in. And David cried out, saying, Did I not, when I was alive upon earth, prophesy to you, Let them confess to the Lord his tender mercies, and his wonderful works to the children of men? For he has shattered the brazen gates and burst the iron bars. He has taken them up out of the way of their iniquity. And after this, in like manner, Isaiah, Isaiah said, Did not I, when I was alive upon earth, prophesy to you, The dead shall rise up, and those who are in their tombs shall rise again, and those who are upon earth shall exult, because the dew which is from the Lord is their health. And again I said, Where, O death, is thy sting? Where, O Hades, is thy victory? And when all the saints heard this from Isaiah, they said to Hades, Open thy gates, since thou art now conquered, thou wilt be weak and powerless. And there was a great voice as of thunders, saying, Lift up your gates, ye princes, and be ye lifted up, ye infernal gates, and the king of glory shall come in. Hades, seeing that they had twice shouted out this, says, as if not knowing, Who is the king of glory? David says, in answer to Hades, I recognize those words of the shout, since I prophesied the same by his Spirit. And now what I have said above I say to thee, The Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, he is the King of glory. And the Lord himself hath looked down from heaven upon earth to hear the groans of the prisoners and to release the sons of the slain. And now, most filthy and most foul Hades, open thy gates, that the King of glory may come in. While David was thus speaking, there came to Hades in the form of a man, the Lord of Majesty, and he lighted up the eternal darkness and burst asunder the indissoluble chains, and the aid of unconquered power visited us, sitting in the profound darkness of transgressions and in the shadow of the death of sins. When this was seen by Hades and death and their impious officers, Along with their cruel servants, they trembled at perceiving in their own dominions the clearness of so great a light, when they saw Christ suddenly in their abodes, and they cried out, saying, We have been overcome by thee. Who art thou that to the Lord directest our confusion? Who art thou that, undestroyed by corruption, the uncorrupted proof of thy majesty, with fury condemnest our power? Who art thou, so great and little, lowly and exalted, soldier and commander, wonderful warrior in the form of a slave, and the king of glory dead and alive, whom slain the cross has carried. Thou who didst lie dead in the sepulcher hast come down to us alive, and in thy death every creature trembled, and the stars in a body were moved, 
And now thou hast been made free among the dead, and disturbest our legions. Who art thou that settest free those who art held captive, bound by original sin, and recallest them to their former liberty? Who art thou who sheddest a divine and splendid and illuminating light upon those who have been blinded by the darkness of their sins? In like manner also all the legions of the demons, terror-stricken with like fear from their fearful overthrow, cried out, saying, Whence art thou, O Jesus, a man so powerful and splendid in majesty, so excellent, without spot, and free from guilt? For that world of earth which has been subject to us always until now, which used to pay tribute for our uses, has never sent us such a dead man, has never destined such gifts for the powers below. Who therefore art thou, that thou hast that hast so intrepidly entered our bounds, and who hast not only no fear of our punishments, but moreover attemptest to take all away from our chains? Perhaps thou art that Jesus of whom our prince Satan said, that by thy death of the cross thou wast destined to receive the dominion of the whole world. Then the king of glory, trampling on death by his majesty, and seizing Prince Satan, delivered him to the power of Hades, and drew Adam to his brightness. Okay. So that's an appropriate thing to read the week of Easter. If we're reading this on Wednesday, then it's a little bit early. But uh, this is the scene that was described, uh, and, and, and which is therefore depicted in our icons of the resurrection. Uh, so each of these weeks we're posting a different, a different icon of the Anastasy, <coughs> which is to say, not the resurrection from the dead, <coughs> not the Lord's rising from the dead, but rather the Lord standing up straight in the depths of Hades, trampling upon death and raising up all of those who have been bound there. And in the icons we can see, actually, all of the righteous of the Old Testament, some of them even holding up scrolls like, this is what I prophesied, this is what I said. We see John the Baptist there, we see Adam and Eve there, we see the righteous kings there, we see the prophets. And, and, and we see the earth, as it were, opening up where it had been closed in uh, as a prison. So, uh, this is... This is the scene, and and we have in this in this passage, you know, the the use of, of uh, uh, I believe Psalm twenty three. Uh, of course, now I'm blank. Yeah, Psalm twenty three and twenty four, uh, which we often will repeat during Holy Week when we knock on the doors before coming back in again on Holy Friday, sometimes on Holy Saturday, and which are also used in the consecration of a church when the doors of a church are open for the first time before the services inside begin. So, uh, we also see David referencing other psalms, Isaiah referencing his prophecies, uh, and we see the Lord come and trampling death. And then we see uh, the demons, and, uh, and, and the, 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 we see Hades and death and all the powers of, uh, of the tomb. We see them wondering, amazed, saying, Who are you? Who are you that can do this? Uh, and, and even lending their voices to give glory to God um, in fear and in trembling and in shock, but nonetheless, glory to God. So, And then we see, it's notable, we began the story with Satan giving orders to Hades, and now we see instead Christ binding, seizing and binding H Satan and delivering him to the power of death. Uh, so this, yeah, uh, this connects even with what we say uh, from, the, from the, the later psalm um, uh, where, where we sing, Arise, O God, and judge the earth, for you shall take an inheritance in all the nations. But before that, he says, I said to you, you are gods, speaking as to Satan, but you shall die like men and fall like one of, uh, well, one of them. So Satan now, uh, who had been uh, consuming the dead is now himself consumed uh, and delivered to death. So anyway, uh, well, we'll see you all again for day three shortly, uh, and we'll f read a little bit more of this next week in Bright Week. But for now, 
one more time, Kali um, and uh, we'll say uh, the other thing next week. God bless you.